Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be quite a bit different than those that I've posted in the past. Um, it's not gonna be too long. I am driving as you can tell. So I just wanted to say a quick hello to y'all and hope everybody is having a great weekend. Um, so I kind of wanted to come on and explain the consistency of my videos. Um, and how it's been going the last couple weeks, how it's changed a little bit from how it was the last couple months. Um, so yeah, I was sick, um, had bronchitis, tonsillitis, a lot of those itises out there. Uh, luckily, I have gotten over it completely, thank God. But uh, that's what happened. I was sick, wasn't able to make those videos as consistently. Um, now that I'm better, I have that time on my hands where I'm able to do that. I actually have a video I'm um, working on editing right now, um, and that video should be posted either today or tomorrow, and then um, we'll be back to schedule on Monday um, with the next video. So, And then from there, we should be good to go um, with videos on the channel. Um, other than that, really quick, I just wanted to talk about a YouTuber. His name is R Dap Dan, and he is a really cool guy. He um, actually works with the federal inmates, so I'm actually going to be collaborating with him on his channel um, because he does have some people that have questions on the prison wife side of things, and I would eventually like to bring him over to our channel um, so that if any of you guys have questions about federal prisons, you guys... Um, he would definitely be able to answer those type of questions for you. Um, a lot more on the, what should I say? So I know like we, we deal with how is it like to be a prison wife and like what we go through and that sort of thing. He's more, I would say maybe analytical on the prison side of things as far as like what you do to prepare and what it's like in prison and those sort of things. Um, probably sentencing and um, he could answer more of those type of things. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, another person that I would like to bring on here soon um, is a woman that is in my um, my support group, uh, Secret Life of a Prison Wife, uh, Shannon Ford. She actually has her own channel as well um, where she talks about her relationship with her man and um, also her business that she has and she's out of Florida so yeah she is a really cool chick and I hope to be collaborating with her soon as well um, somebody else that I don't most everybody I know knows about this guy but I found out about him I want to say about two months ago or so his name is Joe Guerrera and um, he is just popping in the community when it comes to prison related um, or jail related anything going on like that um, but his YouTube channel is the after prison show and this guy just went from like I think he started about a year ago and he went from his channel was pretty gradual in the beginning and then he kind of changed it from interviewing people a really serious note to he changed it to a more funny aspect of like prison stories and like what he went through and you know just experiences that he had in prison and he is up to 400,000 subscribers so it's pretty crazy how fast his channel has grown but um, you guys should definitely check him out I watch his videos every day and it's something that I definitely look forward to so just wanted to throw that out there but other than that I just wanted to let you know what I've been up to you guys and um, kind of been struggling with some internal issues um, as far as like career and um, career and relocation goes I guess and um, I was offered an opportunity to actually work for the Department of Corrections through a con contractor um, as a chemical dependency counselor in training and um, I am certified now to do that which is super awesome and I thought it would be a great opportunity. However, the prison that they're hiring for is really far away from me. It's about an hour and a half away. So I'm not really sure I'm gonna take that position. Um, the pay is really good, but like I said, the commute would be a little too much, especially if I'm going to school full time. Um, and
And then also the prison that they're hiring at is actually a prison that my husband wants to transfer to. So I can't work anywhere where he's at, obviously. So they would actually have to transfer me somewhere else when he gets transferred to that prison. So it's kind of something maybe um, I'm probably gonna do in the future. But as of at this point right now, I don't think I'm gonna take that position. Um, but yeah, that's something that like came up recently. So I actually went for an interview and I, you know, talked to this woman several times during the week and um, changed my class schedule around. So I'm taking all online classes instead of a, one campus and two online classes. So it makes it a little bit easier for me this quarter. Um, but although I'm still having to work my ass off to get good grades, but yeah, so I've been dealing with school and like possible work stuff. I started an internship this week. Um, since I was sick, I wasn't able to do it in the last couple weeks. So um, that has been super exciting. I've been able, obviously everything is anonymous, so I can't talk about anything specifically um, as far as like patients and that sort of thing. But it is just amazing being able to see like the group therapies that they do. And just, I, I can't really do anything the first 50 hours. So I am just like on standby watching everything. But it is amazing really to see the difference that these counselors make in addicts lives you know that are going through recovery the beginning stages of recovery and how some people you know it's their first time in recovery and other people have been in like 20 plus times and you know something isn't they're not changing some aspect of their life because they keep relapsing you know so it's like how do you you know how do you work with a patient that relapses that much like over 20 times you know something something's going on you know and just dealing with people that might not know that they have PTSD but they're diagnosed with it in treatment or you know there's just so many so many things that happen in um, inpatient treatment but it's just amazing to see it I mean on a good and a bad level and the facility that I work at is actually geared towards Native American culture so this coming week is their spirit week so I'm gonna be able to witness a lot of their ceremonies um, or I should say like rituals that they have which is super awesome I'm so excited about it so that's what's been going on with my internship um, as far as prison wife stuff um, I think I mentioned this in my last update but my husband got a a actual court date um, on May 31st so we have like 37 days until his hearing um, and now it's not an actual resentencing hearing this hearing that we're gonna go for, and I'm gonna be, and I'm gonna go to it for Seattle. It's a public hearing. Um, it is gonna be in front of three judges, and it's an oral argument. So our judge has 10 minutes to talk about why he should be resentenced, and then the prosecutor has 10 minutes to talk about why he shouldn't be, um, and then they have four months to decide whether he'll be resentenced or not. So we won't find out anything on May 31st, but from then until. October, we'll have an answer on whether they're going to be resentencing him for sure. So it's super exciting. It's super like anxiety, anxiety, can't talk, um, anxiety driven, I guess that's the right word. Um, it's something that's like on my mind every freaking day. I am one of those people that likes to think that the more positivity that I put out into the universe, the more positive things are going to happen. So I've been talking like he is already resentenced. Um, and he's actually super hopeful. He's been talking like that as well. Just because we have all of the science there, everything you know is proven. So I don't see how they could deny it unless they're just scared that if they approve him, they're gonna have to approve all these other people. Um, but I did mention before, this is the precedent case, our case is precedent. So they've put a hold on every other resentencing case until ours is heard. Um, so yeah, it's just, I mean, you guys, it's like, it's a huge thing. Like he hasn't had a hearing in years. So for us to like go through this process for two years and then finally get a hearing date is like a big freaking deal. Um, and it's something like, I feel like I've been talking about too much to certain people. So I'm trying to like hold back. Um, but you know, other people I know that are going through resentencing or appeals, I'll talk to them about it because I know they don't mind talking about it because they're going through like a similar situation. 
so yeah so i've been going through that um god i know like once we have this hearing and once we get an answer it'll be a weight lifted um because i know once they do approve it once they approve for him to get resentenced it's for sure that his sentence is going to be lower his sentence can't be higher than it is right now so we know he'll be home sooner and um, it's just a matter of like how soon he's going to be home so hopefully it's going to be like like time served I don't think it will they usually stick by the guidelines but I'm thinking it's gonna be between two to four years from now so and that's like including his good time which is really awesome two to four years for me doesn't seem like that much time for most people that have short sentences it seems like forever but for me it seems like nothing so anyhow I am gonna cut this short you guys I'm like 10 minutes from the prison so I'm getting super close and this is I think one of my first really like car vlog videos um, don't worry. I'm totally safe driving. Um, I'm going to invest in one of those phone holders in the car. So that way I don't have to be unsafe. <laughs> so please don't worry about that. Don't make any bad comments. But if you do like this video and you'd like to see more car vlogs, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, I do all sorts of videos from sit down prison wife talk to, um, obviously car vlogs. Um, I talk about resentencing. I talk about things that only prison wives would know or things that we go through. Um, I'm a pretty sarcastic person, so I try to make my videos funny, um, even though some of them are super serious. I've done some storytelling videos about um, you know, what made me want to be a chemical dependency counselor. I am going to be doing some stuff about domestic violence and about PTSD in the future, so for sure look out for that. Um, I love you guys all. Please comment below. I love to hear all your comments no matter what they are. And um, if you are a prison wife that is looking for support, look us up on Facebook under Secret Life of a Prison Wife. That is the support group. Um, and there's over 700 members in our group. We're an amazing, great group. No drama, just tons of genuine women there that are, you know, there for support and help. So I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And I love you guys. I'll see you later.